happy. I'm just a check in. Today is day six. Day six in the program. It's Saturday. And um, so technically I finished my first full day, a full week of training. Because today and tomorrow is rest day. I'm loving my training. I think it's just, do you know when your body just gets shocked? I, do, I stuff like sets, different types of sets, different exercises I never introduced. Kind of split is like, it's that I have three rest days and I actually train eight times a week. So I train four mornings a week and then four, four times in the evening so uh, upper and lower upper and lower i never took rest days before and now shit like i need them i find i push myself way harder in the sessions in the morning time it's so it's a barbell complex and it is fasted i did say that before but i kind of find like you're kind of just i'm pushing myself so much more i think in the back of your head you're like okay this session this session down this session down and it's just really good like i'm going way heavier than some just with some things and i find i'm starting my like my form is really starting to improve like i loved deadlifting absolutely loved deadlifting my body just naturally deadlifted i uh, and i could go heavy i have a really strong back and i've got really strong lats and that's one of my points where but where one of my weaker points i find like i'm a poverty bench i actually only start benching i know and i wouldn't i'd still i wouldn't be like oh yeah i bench because i don't know i just i don't like i i never kind of tend to focus on that muscle but generally for overall body strength you should be benching it's a lift you should be doing um, and you should i always i always train hypertrophy chest at least twice a week and um, so volume work i used to do at least about four exercises working them with flies and cables and dumbbells but did it to, for balance so you know so i didn't have an over developed back and no chest development like i still had because you're going to use it so for any sort of push and movement in your triceps you're going to use your chest and with one of my weaknesses was actually always my squat it was so weird i always had a really good form squat when i used to train with someone i trained with laura right before christmas and we did a bit, we did a bit of a squat session we were doing actually legs we did everything that day and we were doing a session and i just was smack i could go way heavier my form was just on point i i really i was just like this is really weird because i was flying up and i knew you know when you couldn't just sit into a squat my body was just it was just able to do the exercise um, and I always found on my own I was kind of I think the less confident you are with something the more hesitant you are with your form and I was kind of always think but this is just like squats on squats so I, my squat has gotten out so much better it, it just my confidence I think because I'm performing the exercise so much more I'm just like no really really loving it myself i didn't realize actually how low of fitness i had so when say for example when i did lose my breath how how it, it took a while to me to get back so in that barbell complex it, you go into i do 10 sets of the barbell complex with the five exercises in a row using the same weight and there's no break and i was just running out of breath running out of breath running out of breath so i was like oh fuck's sake but and I found that after even after then my session, my last one on Friday, um, I was able to go heavier on the weight. I was hitting every single rep compared to the Monday. So it was lovely like even seeing that progression with myself, just a completely pram, uh, planned program. I'm not doing half as much glute work yet. My glutes are completely activated. I'm walking around. I'm just hobbling. I try I foam roll twice this week and I need to start doing it every day. Now every night I have to do it because Jesus, it's just taking out my muscle. I just wanted to update just a little bit on how my training was going. Some days, like I said, really low carb, really high fat, but I'm starting to accommodate. My body doesn't really know what's going on, but I think it's good. I found as well with my macros, um, I, like I said, say I've been giving my daily and weekly macros, then I am also giving my meal macros. That's what my coaches give me. I grow all the food in my fitness pal, send them back to him, and he approves it, yes or no. Um, and it is a fit, if it fits your macros like that's what i'm doing with my coach and that's what i think is just better for me but all week i haven't felt the need apart from the odd bit of say flavored peanut butter or um chocolate chip like 10 grams chocolate chips and my oats i've been keeping everything really clean and for the purpose of volume as well so when you're on really low carb obviously 
a Reese's cup is 24 grams carbs, it's this size. 24 grams carbs is nearly a 40 gram bowl of oats and obviously it's gonna be a lot more big. So you're gonna be more full in general. So that's what I've been trying to do. I have been craving sugar, so why why go to it when there's no need? Really, like, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm actually so glad that I'm able to do that. Waking up, not absolutely craving sugar. Like, I'm going for the high-fat, high-protein breakfast. If you're on my Instagram, you'll see I'm having omelettes all the time. Buying, having wholesome, nutritious food. Because beforehand, before Christmas, I was getting into a habit of just, oh, I'll just have the protein bar. It's easier. Making sure my meals are prepped and stuff. And that's actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you my um, meal prepping. Um, it's a little bit more awkward than before because every day is different it's really about planning and time all i'm gonna add herbs and i'm just gonna show you bits and bobs like that and how i weigh everything out um, and i only prep three out of the five meals because like that you might change a little bit but just making sure in them three meals that i am prepping for each day i'm hitting all my macros i'm hitting my micros and it's, it's just that little bit better what i did want to do um which is oh god it's it's a little bit scary for me to do, but I think it'd be really good for me to look back on. And I want to be honest with you as well. Like I want to be able to go, yeah, no, I did. Like I, I showed you kind of what I started with. Be proud of my pro progression. Do you know that kind of way? So I did want to show you exactly, because people ask, you know, like what's your weight, what's your, what's your height, what's your age? Because people want to know, I kind of gauge and bounce off you what way they go. I have them written down and I'm actually going to tell you my measurements. These were my measurements on Monday morning when I started. So today is Saturday, so I'm gonna do them again on Monday and then I'll update you. Then when I feel kind of then, I can start to show progress and show you different like um, pictures. Cause generally, if you're only losing like half centimeter here and there, it's not gonna show. It's four weeks down the line, then I can show you then. I did want to just show you a little bit of their skirt. <laughs> I'm just like, don't judge me. I know it's bad. I'm five foot four. I'm 11 stone, four pounds to start with. Right, so this um, this is from Monday starting and then the Monday coming, I'm gonna get that done. One thing I will know, I didn't get my body fat percentage done. I just didn't get a chance this week. It's absolutely insane between having college back started and working full time and you know, just like, and even getting all this different like macros and prepped and stuff, I just haven't got a chance. And if anyone that um, doesn't know um, stone, I, that's I think 71.9 kilograms. So I'm actually a heavy little shit, you know what I mean? So, and I'm 21. My measurements, chest was 98, it's all centimeters. Um, left bicep, uh, 31, my right is 32. The least was 82 centimeters, which is definitely like from a bloated carb belly, like full of war. Um, my hips, which is the widest part of your glute and around, so it's not it's your hip bones, it's actually your glute muscle. So I was 105 centimeters. My thighs, so my left thigh was 60, my right thigh was 61, my both my calves, my left and right was 40 centimeters. That's my starting point. So I just did want to talk about two minutes just about macros because a couple of people that have seen my vlog and then hadn't followed the lifestyle beforehand was kind of being like, what is she on about? So pretty much macros are your macronutrients. So we, you know, people used to focus on calories or Weight Watchers and um, points for Slim and Is it points for Slim and World or Sins for Slim and World, points for Weight Watchers. We count our macros. So macros, your macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbs. Being able to count them, right, is able to technically control your body composition. You're not just going, I mean, 12, 12,000 calories a day, which is extremely low, don't do that. Um, but, and eat it all in carbs. You could have an all oats. So you're actually, the whole thing you ever hear around, the whole skinny fat. So yes, you could be a size six, but there's no muscular definition there. So to be the word, I'm gonna use the word toned, and I hate it because it just doesn't make sense. Anyways, if you want to have a good body, solid body composition, you need to get in your protein. You need to get in your fat. Like fat is good. Like don't avoid your fat. Anything that says low fat or um, a fat free is going to be higher in carbs. Like watch that. But geez, especially when it comes to your carbs, I know personally, me, you know, this doesn't accommodate to everyone. My body doesn't react great to high amounts of carbs. 
for a long period of time. I wore retention really, really fast. Like it was insane. Christmas, I ate so much on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day didn't fit into my dress. My shoes wouldn't fit in. Uh, like I'm not even messing. My shoes wouldn't fit on. My rings and my my rings wouldn't fit my fingers. But my watch was bet tight to my wrist. And then all of a sudden, four days later, I was a different person. My friend saw a picture of me and she was like, Jesus Christ, my face floats out. Like that's just my reaction. Someone else could work really well on really high carbs and then like a moderate fat. But make sure you are getting in your fats. Now, if, you, if you're if you scared of like, because um, people do, people go, oh God, no, I don't want to eat that. Um, have avocados, have coconut oil, that kind of thing. You have to have bad fats, it's just fats in general. Fat doesn't make you fat. Protein, fats, and carbs. So how we do it? Protein has four calories per gram. Carbs is four calories. Four calories per gram, and fat has nine calories per gram. So a general, um, depending on your goal, the ratios are going to be completely different. It is a uh, flexibledieting.com and iifym.com both of them both have macro calculators on them try out a couple of different ones don't just take it for granted um oh yeah that's my calorie and that's my macros you kind of go by yourself and when you do calculate your macros um you're going to show your activity level goal, goals whether you want to gain muscle lose fat uh, lean bulk it just depends on whatever you want to do make sure your goals are right uh, and don't be afraid of calories don't be afraid of going oh jesus that, that's a lot Think about how much you're born in, in one session, especially if you're weightlifting. You know I said my weight um, with that, but don't focus on the scales at all. Like, I couldn't give a shit about that. I, like, I really couldn't. It's just more so my coach asked for it, and I'm just like, that's it. Go try and get your body fat percentage done. The difference, like, honestly, right, just for that example, when I lost, like, say, a lot of my weight, I was a stone and a half lighter than that. And I'm round about, probably I'm about half size bigger. But a lot more muscle now. So like, I actually couldn't, I don't care. It doesn't make any odds to me. If I was 14 stone on that, and solid, able to look well in a bikini, or like, I felt confident. I felt that nothing was jiggling or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Your protein, fats and carbs. So it's gonna give you a certain ratio and a certain amount. Now carb, it generally, carb cycling isn't for everyone. It's very, it's, it's quite complicated. Normally, if you're counting your macros, you're getting, just do that, you forget about carb cycling, just do your normal macros. So for example, um, it's usually one gram of protein per one pound of muscle if you're on a fat loss diet because you kind of have to over accommodate if you're on a little bit lower carb. So uh, say for example, you're on stone for a girl, right? Just from the same for example, you're going to be 140 protein. If you're on a fat loss, it's say for example, just pulling these out my head, you're on 150 carb or on 48 fat, right? So that's gonna bring you up to, I'm pulling these out of my head, I should have probably made it up. Say that's coming out to 1800 calories, right? Try that, them macros, try hit them for four weeks. So how you hit them, every piece of food has a certain, so for example, chicken, per 200 grams of chicken, it's nearly 50 grams protein and four grams fat and no carb. So then you're like, right, how do I hit my carbs? So you go to a carb food, say sweet potato. Do you like know I per 100 grams sweet potato? I think it's like 17 grams carbs. I'm pulling these out of my head. I can't actually think of exactly the amounts right now. So just taking that for example, so sweet potato, then per 100 gram of, say you're having 120 grams of broccoli. That's about, is it like, eight grams of carbs. So you're still having your carbs. Say, right, okay, I want a fat. 120 grams of avocado. Be say 18 grams fat, nine grams carbs, and two grams of protein. So see the way all different foods, different measurements of protein, fat, and carbs. There's and so an egg white, um, egg white, and then your egg yolk. So, you know, if you feel like you've no fats left, just use your egg whites. If you feel like you need fat, put in the yolk. Um, Peanut butter, if you need, you're fine, you're really finding hard to eat fats, especially people that are used to diets, they won't be used to going to the high fat options. They're not used to going for full fat um, feta cheese or full fat cottage cheese, because they're like, we're told by social media that's technically bad. So, just, and it's not, do you know what I mean? Just, I'm just taking for example, if you find it hard to hit your fats, use avocados, cook your chicken and coconut oil. So much variety, macro goal. 
then get your food sources once a week it's lovely to go okay um i'm in the mood for a donut and i'm gonna fit into my macros today do that do you know what i mean like or some people i know that are in a while into macros say they're like i know people that are counting two years now they have a free day or a free meal so they don't count anything once a week and it's it's a mind break if you're not on competition prep why not it's only a lifestyle it's about balance and a lot of restaurants nowadays so many have the calories online and um, my fitness pal you can type it in really really good so it's just a little kind of guide to how to start your macros and and just one other thing about counting macros, generally if you're weightlifting and counting macros, especially like if you're getting stuff off bodybuilding.com or like that if it's your macros.com, iifim.com, like uh, generally stuff is going to be really high in protein and you have to be able to hit your fiber to make sure that's going to your body right. Like fiber is so important to make sure your digestive system is working really well. So. It, I think, and I'm nearly sure I'm saying this right, 30 to 35 grams at least um, of fibre a day. Now, broccoli's really high in fibre. The Quest bars, if you find you're finding it hard to hit it, they have like nine grams of fibre or something, depending on what bar it is. So do make sure you're hitting them and drink your water with it, you know, make sure you're just keeping them, all them nutrients in. Then, after the four weeks of counting your four set of macros, then add in your supplements. If you're finding it hard to take your protein, get protein powder. If you're not kind of used to taking them, it's just a really good way. What you want to do, the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism is going to be, the more food you can eat. Who doesn't want that? It's a lifestyle. It's not about fat loss. Don't do it as fast as you can. Focus on your training. It's good. Like it, it, it's such a good way of, I'm hands down promoted because it just allows people then, if you want your ready rockets every second week, I mean like the sweet potato fries and there's like bun, uh, lettuce bun burgers or you know if you are wanting to go, now if go out, I'll get the brownie if you want the brownie, do you know what I mean? But it just, or there is better options are out there. I think even like, um, there's a couple of places like, for example, like Chopped and Fairview. I love that, like you can, you can just eyeball it. I know about what like 15 grams of jalapenos looks like. I know what 150 grams of chicken looks like. So they, when they're throwing stuff into the salad bowl, you can, you can guess and you can type it in. Um, right now I couldn't do that just because of competition prep. It is a different ball game. But as a lifestyle, it's a great idea. So yeah, I think that's all. I kind of, I'm rambling away here. So I'm going to get stuff prepped downstairs and I'm going to show you. My meal prep is slightly more awkward than um usual usually i'll be like okay 200 grams of broccoli 150 grams of asparagus kind of know every day what i'm gonna have so like i said i have to fit certain foods in at the moment trying to work out what's best have me on instagram you saw the other day we got like a big shop in so like that today is saturday so i'm cooking my meals for tomorrow monday tuesday wednesday ish kind of prepped i find it way easier just your main meals have it there have the food there one thing is I I am going for the cleaner option just for the volume reason. Um lady and I'm enjoying the food. If I want if I want other foods I'll have them but I'll just I'm just gonna show you um kind of what I got. What I'm just gonna bring this over here. Tupperware is your friend. Make sure you have some. So this is my selection of meats. My salmon, I'll probably have one of them. I'm cooking one of them tonight, you know, and then one tomorrow. Um, one thing my coach said to me that I was having too much chicken. So I kind of just decided to just, this one was the extra lean beef strips. Cookie mince, I'm gonna like make kind of spiralized courgette and balls, kind of like a sweaty meatball, but like a macro friendly version. And these are hands down my favorite salmon. I don't know, they just taste way nicer. They're from uh, Aldi, I think. Nice with like Cajun and like brown rice. So that's kind of like my meats. I have my chicken cooking. So these are my favourites. So these are the uh, whole grain rice boiled in the bag. It's literally like 10 minutes. Um, and what I really like about it, see the way it's kind of portioned? So I know about half one of that. I know kind of how to macro it. The one that's like two portions or three portions if I have a really uh, low carb day. Uh, these are actually my favourite sweet potato. 
there from tesco's because they're really small they cook really easily and you can kind of do circular motions and sometimes i pan fry them in the fry light spray so i really really like them the other giant sweet potatoes i just pain the arse to cut i can't be arsed so and this is kind of my green veg my options all the time are always this this veg i just think they're brilliant you get them all your micro so asparagus every single day i have a bunch of asparagus spinach is such a great volumizer and it has so much iron in it um don't know the stats on it but of course and courgette courgette is like zucchini um really low carb people put it into their porridge they spiralize it um, low carb for the amount of volume i think in that entire thing is like two grams carbs so really good thing and these are then my fast kind of options if i'm having peanut butter and rice cake i'm obviously not going to prep that so avocados and almonds i will put in the tubware beforehand so they're the kind of options for this week really trying to keep it varied um really good food and then i'll add my season so this i just want to say this is what literally i cook everything i don't know what i'll use to use in like disposal bags or whatever so it's a steamer so like i don't even know where i got it but literally my veg cooks in like two minutes in it so like water in there veg on there that on there and then microwave everything in it find as well um all the nutrients is kept in the in the um vegetable and then if you boil it in water i think sometimes the nutrients kind of go into water and stuff so it's just kind of not my uh that's my style of cooking and i kind of like my veg nice and crunchy so i kind of measure it all out and i'll show you a little bit on how i prep it okay so I just kind of start my meats, just kind of because they tend to take the longest to cook, like veg would only take, what, two, three minutes to cook. Like I'd cook nearly four days in advance, even my chicken, I know people don't, but I never get a reaction to it, like I'm, I'm so alive now. So yeah, the two salmons I'm going to do. They're actually one thing I do in the steamer. I take about nine minutes in the steamer and they stay nice and, um, nice and like juicy they don't dry up or anything so it's really nice. pink of stuff like that um they always like bake them or my chicken i poach um i like plain chicken so that generally is okay so nine i'll see how they come out currently my steaks are searing so i'll leave my beef for a minute and my turkey mince i'm gonna put into mince balls like and put like herbs through it so i might leave that for a minute i just want to show you these steaks for a minute how fab are they? <sighs> okay. So I just kind of wanted to show you the seasons that I use. So these are great. You know your kind of one cow sprays? They do them in garlic, chili oil, and Himalayan pink salt. I use literally on everything. Way better than normal salt. Like the sodium is lower and it's really good for like water retention that. So then I use like hot chili powder, different types of chili powder, black pepper, and garlic granules. Generally, I tend to avoid anything that's already mixed together. I go for pure herbs because um, pre-mixed herbs tend to be, have um, nutritional information and they have macros. So you just have to be really careful with salt content. So just go as kind of like pure as you can and then you can mix them up yourself. So Tesco's have a really good range. I use like cane and pepper, smoked paprika, it's like a spice blend, all pure though, nothing. Mixed herbs, garlic powder is actually fab. Um, all spice and Chinese five spice. I also really like onion powder. They were just out of stock at the moment. But they're just kind of different varieties. Like your food doesn't have to be plain. I know like if you, that's the way you prefer, that's fine. But generally it doesn't like there's such massive variety. So it's great like. So generally through this, there is a lot of like my fitness pal checking. Cause I kind of need to know the macro and stuff. So, asparagus bunch, cut off the bottom. Um, I can't, <laughs> so bad when I go, oh, oh, oh. Um, when I go to do this, I actually can't remember, I just don't think it tastes nice. I don't really know why we cut off the bottom, but I do, I don't know if that's what I've heard too. So, yeah, cut off the bottom, lay it out. Put a little bit more off that. Okay, so that's one portion. I want 140 grams, so that's what I'm kind of going to go for. Shit up. Um, and asparagus. Sorry. Asparagus. 
asparagus is really good for like water retention. You always hear of like peak week. If people need to drop water, they tend to drink a lot of asparagus. Like if you find, especially after Christmas, I always find like, I think slow, don't you? Just from all the like chemicals and stuff. Um, I don't know, I'm shining out me. But um, yeah, so that's one thing asparagus is really good for. Next peel out. So I'm gonna cook about four days worth of veg. I find veg keeps great in the fridge. Um, once it's cooked, keep your tub where sealed. And uh, this is fine. And people like to me, um, oh, how do you heal up your food? And I don't, I actually eat cold veg and that's the way I like it. No, you might, and so make sure you do heat it. Like, don't eat it if you don't like it. So, kind of as you can see, like meal prep does, like it takes a lot of time thereby to kind of put the prep in. Because at the end of the day, you know the whole thing, like abs are made in the kitchen, but it allows you to make when you are absolutely starving. You're not going for bad food choices. You have your food ready. You're there. You're eating it. You're, you're eating until you're satisfied. Do you know what I mean? You know, right, this is great. Like, this is what I need to be eating. It's fuel food. And you're not just overeating because you're absolutely starving. Um, or, like, you're going shopping when you're hungry. It's just a war. Do you know what I mean? So, just make sure you're just putting the effort in. Like, an hour every three, four days. And then you kind of have it done and out of the way. That's all good. You know? Right, I'm just going to wait this. So broccoli, great body moisture, really high fiber. Um, very good. Very good for you. Kind of with the sweet potato, um, I generally just kind of cook. Man, both sides off. Gonna. One of them steaks I'm cooking like for tonight as well and smelling. I leave you with my steak. I just uh, pan fry you guys and just put the lid over and just let it sizzle. I know a lot of people like bake and stuff, but I don't like it too well done. I still like it really juicy, so I'm like so hungry. Today's low carb day. But tomorrow is a high carb day and I'm very excited. So I just kind of cut them into thin dices. And then they just cook really easily because um, in that little steamer again, you can mash them afterwards, you can keep them like this, you can pan fry them afterwards. You know, it's just fry light spray, so it's kind of like fried sweet potatoes or whatever. But there's so many different ways you can do it. So I got, I'm just going to go into the veg a little bit more now. So, like that, I'll start with my zucchini or courgette, it depends where you're from. Just cut off both ends, I don't know why it's do. I'm just gonna weigh it. Okay. Ah, okay, so I'm just gonna leave that to the side. I got a new spiralizer um, for Christmas. So I have a feeling I'm gonna make a ball with this. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, if this doesn't work, everything is so great! And my man then got me for one for Christmas, so. I guess both, I don't know. Like, both. Okay, okay. I'm presuming you just twist. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is like for one day. Oh, this one's good. Yeah, it'd be funny if I actually made balls of this and these were all like, haha. Your food prep is shit. I try, guys. And it is, like, if you're eating this every day, Get stuff you feckin' like I eat this because I like to eat this. Don't eat stuff you don't like. Don't like broccoli and you like asparagus. Just have double the amount of asparagus. Like it's not oh, there's plenty of other veg. But yeah, like in case you're like, oh, where's all your red veg? I generally have like peppers and cherry tomatoes every morning. The omelette. Um so yeah, there's my colour. Prove it to you, check my Instagram. Oh my god, this is Jackie. I'm oh, 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 oh my god. I'm actually loving this. I think this is going to be my new shit. Yeah, people add this into their oats. Um, can't even taste it. So say if you're really low carb, but you still want a bowl of porridge. Put in like 20 grams of oats and put this shit in it. Now don't put it in like this, because that would be disgusting. Just grate it. Oh, salmon's ready. I have like literally 10 different things cooked at one time. 
Yeah. Do you ever get like when you want to cook and you just want everyone to leave the house? That's great. No one's in my house right now. Oh my god, lads, this is dirty. Here, lads, you all need this. I've officially decided everyone needs spiralizing in their life. It just feels a bit weird. I'm just. <laughs> I'm gonna cut myself. I probably shouldn't have cut it in half beforehand. Don't cut it half beforehand. Like, I don't really know how to twist it out, absolutely kill myself here. Ow! Oh, stupid bitch. Okay, giving up. I'm just gonna put this beside it. <laughs> it's one day. So, that's a spiralizer. Okay, I'll probably just chop that through it. Okie dokie, and then I'll do that with the next one. So, it's not my top, it's on my face. So, um, pretty much I have my rice just finishing off cooking there. Everything kind of weighed out and ready to go on my tubberware for next week. And that's really it. Like it's just about being organised, being prepared, and um, eating what you like. And I eat out like everything there. I love. I add my seasons, what I want, and it's cool. That ends my vlog. Um, really just trying to get as much information I can, like in some as possible, showing what I do every day. So <laughs> everyone likes them, and I love a bit of feedback on them, like all the time or different stuff I can do. My next one, I'll let you know how I get on in the body fat in that clinic when I'm getting my body fat done and I'm gonna go through all my supplements and kind of what ones I tend to go for because there's so many products out there that aren't nice or that you tried or you've got a bad reputation so ones I've tried it might not be right and you mightn't just you mightn't agree but they're just ones kind of I like to use so thank you all so much for watching and um, I really appreciate all your comments and likes and messages so glad I did it really nice for me to kind of see the progression and different moods thank you all so much please give me a thumbs up if you like it and press the subscribe button I'm so